What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things to talk about and that is gear, specifically camping gear. So I'm going to go through my camping bin that I usually just keep packed out as it is. I'll go through all the items, some, some essentials, some cool little gadgets that I have, some new additions that I've made, and really just give you an overview of what's in the bin and what I normally take with me uh, when I go camping. There's some things that aren't included in the bin that I bring with me, which I can kind of touch on those a little bit later. But uh, for now, we'll just go through the bin. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around, got the bin sitting over here. I'll kind of do an aerial view and just pull everything out and go through each item uh, one by one, showing you what I take out with me. I'm not going to do a review on every single item in here, but I'll you know point to some things I like about certain things, uh, maybe some things that I don't do like little mini reviews here throughout. And if there's anything specifically that you want me to review in, a, in more depth, uh, feel free to, you know, mention it in the comments. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. I'll go through everything that I uh, have in my camping bin. All right, so here it is. This is the camping bin. This uh, bin itself is a Plano heavy duty sportsman's trunk, classic uh, storage container. I, I really like the Plano stuff. I got a couple smaller ones as well. A couple of these guys work really well. Uh, but yeah, we'll snap these guys open and see what's going on inside of here. So like I said, I'll kind of just pull each item out. There's not really any particular order that I'm going here. Um, you'll notice how I kind of have everything somewhat segregated out. So I've strategically placed everything in the bin here. Um, I have these little dividers here. So I've tried to separate it out where like this is like cooking stuff, I guess you could say. And then in this one's just miscellaneous uh, items. So, so yeah, I'll just jump in here and start pulling stuff out. Um, so this first item here is a gas one uh, stove. So like I said, I'll, I'll go through uh, things kind of in brief detail. If there's anything we want to see a specific review on, uh, more in depth, like I think I might do one on this stove, but, um, but yeah, so this is the stove that I take out with me camping really like this one. I had the previous iteration to this, which is a little bit smaller, uh, but it had far less BTU output. Uh, I really like this stove so far. This, uh, upgraded version has a windscreen on it. Um, it, seems to be a little more heavy duty than the previous one that I had. It takes, it's a dual fuel. So it takes both these um, butane fuel canisters. And then also there's an adapter, which I'll get into here that allows you to hook up a uh, propane, those little Coleman propanes to this. Um, so dual fuel, really nice. I like the butane better, but in cold weather, the, um, uh, propane typically works a little bit better, but yeah, so that's my stove. And then got some aluminum foil. That's good for just whatever. If you want to throw something in the campfire to cook or, you know, I'm sure you can use your imagination with that. Um, and this guy I have, this is a GSI outdoors little uh, knife set. Um, really good for cooking. Uh, I try to you know, chef it up a little bit when I'm out there. Sometimes I like to keep it more simple, but this knife set's actually pretty sweet. I got it as a Christmas gift. Um, it's got a little, you know, pairing knife here for some smaller stuff. It's got a larger um, chef's knife uh, in the center. This is like a bread knife. It comes with a um, freaking mosquito in here. Um, it's got this cool little cutting board, foldable one. Um, so, it's kind of a nice little contained set here. It comes with a little dish soap dispenser and then like a dish cloth. Honestly, don't really use those, but I do use the knives and the cutting board. Um, I just like this little kit because it's pretty slim and a little self-contained uh, uh, cutlery setup. So it's that. This, you'll notice the theme here is GSI. Uh, typically like their stuff, so there's a lot of GSI stuff in here. This is a GF, GSI uh, kettle, so little aluminum anodized kettle. Works, works pretty good. Um, and I'm going to link everything so you can see what's up with everything, but 
got a couple of bowls. So it's just me and my fiance that usually go camping together. So I have pairs of two for most of the stuff in here. So um, got two bowls, two plates. Uh, I typically, it's usually easier, obviously, to use you know, paper plates and, and plastic forks and you just throw it away. So you don't have to really clean up too much. Um, I just like using the, the plastic stuff because you can, you know, it takes a little more time. You got to wash it, but I just know what's always in here and I don't have to worry about, you know, replenishing anything and, you know, environmental friendly, whatever. Um, got a couple, uh, butanes in here for that stove. I have, this guy's kind of cool actually. So, um, this is a little thermometer. So it's got a little kickstand on it. You can set it on the table. I usually just stick it on cause there's a little magnet here. You can just stick it on the truck and then it displays in Celsius or Fahrenheit, the temperature, and then also the relative humidity. It's kind of nice just knowing a lot of places that I go don't typically have service. So it's just nice to know what the temperature is. I actually just got back from a trip uh, up on Mount Lemmon and it was you know well in the in the 20s which was pretty cold but uh we may do so it's just nice to kind of check out what the temperature is um when you don't have service got a little hydro guy for uh soda bottle or soda cans uh, speaking of which got my little soda here got another one usually keep hanging around and honestly don't use these too much but just cups you know you never know if you're gonna need some cups uh usually go camping with people who don't have a ton of camping gear so like to be able to provide them with some amenities if they forgot something so a couple cups there got some gsi little mugs so those little camp mugs uh cool little lid pretty straightforward with that I have this GSI um, skillet. So it's a nice little skillet. It's actually pretty sweet. It's one of the nicer pans that I have, honestly. I, I really like this pan. It's super lightweight. Um, it's got this folding handle, so it just slips in here nice and easy. Um, yeah, I like this guy as a, a nice little uh, pan for cooking, obviously. Then this guy is a gas one windscreen. So that stove actually has a windscreen kind of built in it. The previous edition that I had did not, but um, you know, truth be told, even with that windscreen, if the wind is really howling, uh, you kind of need this guy. So, uh, you know, it's just a fold up little windscreen that you can set up. So the wind's not blowing your uh, stove out and heats your stuff up much quicker when you have that heat contained in there. So keep this little guy handy if it's windy. On this side over here, I have a little cast iron uh, that I use. I really like this little little one, sometimes even more so than the other larger one, just because it's you know pretty easy to clean. I like cooking on cast iron and this one seasoned pretty well. So. Uh, just an extra one and if you know i can obviously use the non-stick and then the cast iron when i'm cooking you know two things at once usually i like to try to keep it in just one pan but you know sometimes you'll need two um then i have a larger cutting board here which honestly i don't really use these that often i have that other uh, gsi cutlery set but you know, they're just in here. So the other one's a little bit smaller. It's, you know, closer to this size. So it is nice if you could, you know, you're cutting up a lot of stuff. This one's useful and it really doesn't take up that much space. So, you know, I'll probably just keep it in here. Uh, this guy is the, is my sink. So collapsible sink for when I'm washing all the dishes, this just pops open. And what I'll usually do is just heat up some water in the kettle and do some hot water with some cold water and then you know soap and give everything a wash in this it's kind of nice because if you ever wanted to you can also uh you know keep it a little bit lower and then obviously collapse it fully uh, a lot of times my fiance also uses this to like wash her face in the morning so she does like a, a face routine and she's able to use this as a sink for uh 
you know, washing up. And you could obviously do the same thing, you know, if you want to take like a little bath or whatever. Um, so moving on over to this side. So this is a newer addition to my setup. So this is a Kelty um, Chef Roll. So it's actually a pretty sweet little roll. You just, it's got this clip strapped around here. And then this thing folds open like this. And then you have each individualized section uh, moving down here. So I've kind of broken this up into uh, different sections as far as this top section is my cooking. So anything that I'm using to cook. So this top one, I have a little pair of GSI tongs. So these guys are actually collapsible this way. But uh, now that I have this uh, Kelty chef roll, I just keep them open like this. And you got a little set of tongs. I got a couple little uh, GSI spatulas. These also fold up pretty nice. Um, these spatulas are actually pretty sweet. I like the, the angle on the, the head here. Um, seen some decent use. And I ended up getting two of these spatulas. And then just because I'm a nerd and I've done like chili and stuff, I figured I'd get this little ladle. Uh, probably a little bit of overkill and unnecessary, but it all fits in here pretty good. So uh, just going with the theme of the GSI stuff, a um, little foldable ladle. Uh, it's pretty nice for when you have soup or whatever. And then this is just a like rubberized spoon. This is usually what I do to like stir stuff. So I'm not scraping up my pans or whatever. Um, but it's a nice little, little soft rubberized spoon. Then moving down to the next one here, this is basically just utensils. So a bunch of just spoons, forks, knives. So like I said, I usually like to keep stuff for other people in case they forgot anything. So got series of forks, series of spoons, series of knives. And then this is a little uh, metal spoon that I like. It's a uh, Sea to Summit, a little aluminum or titanium, actually, I think, little spoon. These ones are nice for if you have like a mountain house or something. It's got a long handle so you can stir up those mountain houses without getting stuff all over your hands. Um, so... So yeah, that is the cutlery section. Then the next section here is really just dishes, like when I'm doing the dishes. So got a little camp suds, little scrubber, and a little scraper when you get stuff crusted on your pots and pans. This little spatula guy, you know, you can scrape it off. It's got a soft side and a plastic hard side. Now, one thing just kind of random here is you can't use this for heat. I tried to use this as an actual like spatula one time just to like kind of scrape stuff off the side of the pan and this actually melted. So definitely only used for doing dishes as a heads up and just got a little piece of rope in here for whatever reason. Um, and then the last section here is kind of more equipment I guess you could say. So got a little lighter for lighting the stoves and then this is that little adapter piece for the gas one stove if you want to do the uh, propane. So uh, I won't take it out right now, but basically this attaches to where that butane normally goes through this little adapter. And then you're able to hook up one of those Coleman propanes on this guy. We've got a little weenie roaster here, little expandable collapsible guy. I used to have like the long ones that weren't collapsible, uh, which, you know, they work fine, but I'd have to keep them in the truck. Uh, I like this much better and it, you know, does the, the exact same thing. Um, I also have a little wine key in case you're, you know, trying to get down on some wine. And I have a can opener, which this is kind of a cool can opener design. It's just one handle here and this thing just cinches on a can and it makes it like safe to where you're not, uh, it doesn't have that sharp edge on the, the lid of the can. It does like a, I don't know how it does it, but it cuts it in a way where there's no sharp edges. Kind of like that idea because when you're, you know, throwing stuff in trash bags, I've had my trash bags cut open by cans before. So um, wanted something that would keep that a little safer uh, on there. So that is the whole chef roll here. And obviously... This thing, you know, rolls up nice and neat. Cool thing about it too is that you, I usually, wherever I have my kitchen set up, 
I'll just have this hanging close by like on a tree or something. And then you have quick access to, to all your stuff. So one of my newer additions to the bin. Um, so I'll get into this whole section here. This is just a uh, little drying towel that I use for, you know, you can wipe your face. I use it usually to dry the dishes. So that's that. I have a, a little uh, isobutane propane mix canister or whatever for the, um, where is that guy? I believe, oh, it's in this thing. I have a little MSR stove in this as well. So that's what this fuel is for. Um, so typically, like I was saying, I usually use the gas one single stove. I don't typically need two, but in case I do, I have a little backup. Um, I actually have two backup stoves. So this is, once again, another GSI item. This is their, I actually bought this for a backpacking trip. So this is my entire stove cooking setup for when I go backpacking. Um, and then I just keep it in the camping bin whenever I need a, an extra stove. So this guy, similar to the other stuff, pops open. You got the lid there. Got a couple matches. Like I was saying, this is my whole cooking system for when I'm backpacking. So I got some matches, lighter, and then here is the... Uh, MSR little uh, pocket rocket stove. So you just hook up, I'm sure everybody's seen these, but you just hook this up here and then you have your little stove that you can cook on like that. So uh, when I was up on Mount Lemon last weekend, um, cooked some beans in this guy. So actually worked pretty well. Uh, the only downside to, you know, cooking with the the gas one and this guy is that this actually sets up pretty high and you're trying to balance it so you just have to be careful not to knock it over but works pretty well um so i won't got a little bandana in there too just to keep stuff from rattling around so that's that got a little koozie chilling here this guy another gsi item um is a uh little coffee maker so a little drip coffee maker. This is probably my favorite way to make coffee now. I've tried coffee several different ways. I've done the little purchasable, um, it's almost like a tea bag, but with coffee that you set on the uh, lip of your cup and then you you know drip water over it, done those. I've done French presses. I've done this guy. I've tried these other uh, filters that you use. And this is just my favorite because it's super easy to clean. And the thing to keep in mind with this is you're going to need some filters. So what I like about it is I've used ones that don't require a filter and they have a built-in one, but then you get coffee grounds all over this thing and you have to like clean it up or whatever. I like this because these little filters just drop in here and then you know, you do your pour over or whatever. And as soon as you're done, you just grab this and chuck it in the trash and this thing's clean. Um, so that's what I like about this and the coffee is just good in, in this method. It's usually pretty quick. So, um, that is my coffee making system. And I'm actually going to do a video on all different types of coffee making. So I have a couple different ways of making coffee that I really enjoy. Um, some espresso maker that I, that I use. So, That'll be a, a video at a later date, but um, that's what I typically do just for, for hot coffee. Um, so these guys are pretty cool. So OXO or OXO, I'm not sure how you say that brand, but I've typically run into issues with, you know, like you want to bring butter or oil for cooking and trying to transport that is, you know, I don't want to say difficult, but I've had stuff leak on me or whatever. And then I came across these guys. These are leak proof bottles, um, really high quality. I like the lids. Um, it's good for condiments too. So this one has like a fatter tip nozzle that you can like put ketchup or whatever you want in there. Um, but leak proof bottles really like these guys. Um, and then this one with the oil is a little bit smaller of a tip. Um, you know, it's kind of a subtle little thing that you wouldn't think that, you know, crucial, but I like them compared to other methods that I've, I've tried. So next I have in here is a little, um, spice container things, what it's called. So 
kind of just <laughs> labeled these myself, but you got sugar, cinnamon, pepper, and salt. Um, I like this better because I've used those. I think it's the Coglin brand that has like the multi spice. There's like, you know, 10 different spices on it or whatever, but I've had issues with that um, kind of leaking on me or not leaking, but the like moisture got in there somehow. And so I wanted something that was a little bit bigger and more easily refillable and, you know, changeable. So this guy, you just pop these open and, you know, you're good to, to get your spices. And it comes with the, this set that I got comes with two of these. So I really only need these spices, but if I ever wanted to, you know, really spice it up, uh, I would, you know, use that other one. Um, got another little stove here. This is a cheapy little stove. Um, I liked this one when I saw it because it's a little more low profile than that other MSR. So I, I really have three stoves in here. And if I'm going to actually be doing like some significant cooking on the stove, this is the one I would choose over the MSR. It's definitely not as high quality in terms of like, I don't know, the, the, the fuel seems to be kind of leaky, I guess, if you don't get it on there. Right. And you know, the starter, it's got a little starter here. That's you know, kind of chintzy, but it is kind of nice to have this a little bit more low profile and you can actually put like a full size pan on this instead of worrying about it toppling over. And then you just connect the fuel to this end and then you can adjust, you know, the, the flame size with that little uh, dial there. But it's a pretty cool little stove is, you know, I think it was like 20 bucks or something. So definitely not going to last you a long time, but nice for what it is. And it comes with this little case. Um, so we'll set that over here. Then got some Ziplocs. Never know when you're going to want to pack up a sandwich. Got some little wet wipes, some charcoal face and body wipes. Um, this is my um, little torch for starting the fire. So these here are little fire cubes. Uh, obviously, one of the best parts about camping is having a campfire. Uh, using these little lighter cubes, which I don't know if you've ever seen these, but these are, you know, like five bucks for this whole pack of little fire cubes almost out here, but they're just these little white fire cubes, fire starters that you put underneath your wood. And then you're able to, you know, reach under there, blast it with the torch, and then your fire's good to go. My favorite way to make fire, I've tried different fire starters, you know, using kindling and whatever. And this is just the most expeditious way of doing it. And you know, this torch is pretty cool. <laughs> um, then I have some bug spray just in case got this little mirror and actually my fiance's grandparents, they were, uh, having like an estate sale. And it was funny. We were talking about, we wanted a little mirror and, if you were to see my like camping set up with my rooftop tent, I got this little like toiletry section and I was like, man, I wish I had a mirror that for brushing your teeth right here. And so super random tangent, but this is the little mirror that we use for, uh, you know, brushing our teeth in the morning. Got some other bug spray. This is like an aerosol version. And then this is like the, you know, little trigger that you use another little koozie there. Then I had these, so this is a pack of batteries. Um, I can't remember what I had the triple A's for. Um, I just have them in here as backup in case anybody has like some sort of gadget that requires double or triple A's. I originally had this, these battery packs in here and these are like separatable if you wanted to, you know, only bring one or whatever, but I just have them as a re reserve in case anybody has like a flashlight or something that they needed batteries for. But, um, uh, I originally had them in here for, uh, some lights that I'll show you in a second. Um, in here, normally I keep, I have a little pocket billow that I keep in here. And then these are some water, fire or stormproof matches. This is usually like my little fire kit, uh, but I just went camping. So not everything is in here and some other batteries that before I got this little battery storage unit, um, these are, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with the gazelle brand, but gazelle makes some pretty sweet tents. Um, I have a rooftop tent, but they have these like quick deployable, like pop-up, uh, um, like base camp tents. And they're actually pretty sweet. And I put my brother-in-law onto those tents and then they came with these stakes. I didn't, I wasn't familiar with, you know, the, 
the ins and outs of that brand. And he said he really liked these steaks and then he ended up just buying me a kit. And previously, and I just need to clean some of this extra stuff out, but I was using these other steaks and I use the steaks for, uh, I have an awning for uh, my, my uh, roof rack and you want to stake it out. And then I also had just left these steaks in here in case anybody, you know, had those garbage little tiny steaks for their tents uh, when I go camping with anybody. But these little steaks are super, you know, heavy duty, like steel steaks. And I had been really liking these. And then he bought me these steaks. Now these steaks, I'll just take one out real quick. These guys are a little bit smaller, not as heavy duty or long as, um, you know, these ones, but they have a little protective cap. The tip is really sharp and it has this corkscrewed end on it. And obviously this little handle. Now, I guess the intent of this is you're supposed to screw it in. And I thought that was kind of gimmicky, but I actually went to stake down my awning and you can really twist these in instead of having to hammer it into the ground. And it works pretty well as long as there's not a ton of rocks. Um, and you can do the same thing. Like if you want to stake on a tree or something to hang something up. Um, so these stakes are actually pretty sweet, which, uh, I actually recommend over those other ones now because they're just a little a little bit smaller, a little more manageable, and then they come in this little bag. And there's a bunch in here, which I typically only need two, but, you know, it's just a little bag of those. And then these are some lights that take AAA batteries. So these are some string lights that I usually string up along my awning and then onto my tent. Um, I've done it like, you know, across the campsite or whatever, uh, you know, it just gives a little aesthetic to the camp. Um, I think these batteries are dead, which is why I have the backups, but, um, these ones were cool because, you know, they're obviously, it's got a little battery pack that's separated and you don't have to, you know, plug it into anything. And it had a little remote. There's multiple different settings for these lights, which, you know, there's like, it says on here, like combination and wave sequential. I mean, you'll see, but Basically, I was liking these, but having to wrap these up it was pretty annoying. So I wanted to find an alternative to these that, you know, maybe something that had like a spool or, or something else because this came became kind of cumbersome trying to untangle these. Even if you wrap them up good, they're just the way that they're designed, like these little balls on here, it just gets tangled up. Um, like the lights overall, but that was just an issue. So I recently was just kind of looking around and I found this light, which is actually pretty cool. So little thing about this one is you pull from the side here and instead of, you know, having to coil them up, this just pulls straight out of this. And this is, it's amazingly, there's 30 feet of lights inside of here. So it gets, you know, pretty dang long. There's a lot that comes out of this more than you would think. And cool thing about this too is obviously, you know, they light up and there's a couple different modes, which is flashing back and forth. There's not as many modes on this one as those other lights, but really I just prefer the on mode. And better thing about this is it's USB-C rechargeable, which is way better than the batteries. And it also, you know, you pull them out and then when you want to reel them back up, this little hook here flips over and then there's a little knob here and you just reel it up like a fishing pole almost and closes up like that so pretty cool little gadget um it has the like i said the multiple lighting modes and then it even has like a lantern mode so if you wanted to you know hang it like this on this little hook then you gotta and it's actually relatively bright um but yeah, I used this on the last trip that I went on. Uh, I will say that the those lights with tr with AA batteries lasted longer than these ones, but this lasted two full nights. And it's like, you know, how much more are you going to need than that? And you can just recharge it during the day. So uh, one of my newer items that, that I really enjoy, and it just simplifies things. So I'm going to take those lights out of the bin, and then this will be my new, new light setup. Um, and last thing in here is just a couple more steaks, which I'll be taking out and some hot hands for in case it gets cold.
So that pretty much wraps it up for the bin. So obviously here I put these little, I just bought these like at Target or something. They're just little divider cubes for, uh, for like a bookshelf or whatever, but it works well for this, keeping everything kind of separated and contained. Um, but yeah, so outside of that, this bin pretty much stays packed the way that it is. And I load it in the truck. And then when I'm done camping, I take it out and just put it on the, uh, on the shelf in the garage. So it makes it really easy. Once you have, if you have everything contained in the bin, you don't have to worry about forgetting anything. You don't have to worry about like, Oh, make sure, you know, you remember to get the cutlery, make sure you remember to, you know, put in the stove or whatever. So everything's just ready to go. And it makes it super quick when you want to go on a, on a camping trip. So that's pretty much it. There's a couple other things that I bring along with me that don't fit in the bin. So I'll kind of briefly just show you, show you those few items real quick and some things depending on the specifics of the trip that I'll add in or, you know, take out as needed. Uh, but overall, that's, that's pretty much the setup that I run. So I'll show you these other couple few items and then uh, wrap it up from there. So these are some of the items that I usually take with me camping that don't fit into the bins, obviously. Uh, some of these things I don't always bring. It just depends on the specific trip, but I'll just give you a rundown of what I got set up here. So this is some leveling blocks for the truck when I am rooftop tent camping. So this guy kind of pops off here and you can adjust the height depending on what you want. Um, pretty sweet little little leveling blocks. It's surprising that even the slightest slope can really ruin your sleep. So uh, that's what those are for. Um, I always usually take this fan, not when it's freezing obviously, but this little uh, USB rechargeable fan is pretty sweet to get set up in the tent just to get some additional airflow in there. Really like this guy. This is that uh, Mr. Heater little buddy heater. It takes these uh, Coleman propanes that just screw in the bottom. This is awesome when it's cold and you just set it up in the tent and I'm telling you, you're, you're super cozy if you have one of these running when it's freezing. Um, but obviously don't take that super often camping in Arizona, but in the winter it does get pretty cold sometimes. Um, this is also the, like I was saying, dual fuel. So I'll, I'll sometimes bring, well, pretty much every time we'll bring an extra, um, propane in addition to the butane just as a, a backup because that would suck to not have fuel. Um, this guy, I usually just have this in my truck, but this is for wood processing. So depending on the trip, if I'm going obviously one backpacking, I'm taking this guy instead of, you know, a full on bow saw or, uh, you know, I got the, the chainsaw up here, obviously not bringing that on a backpacking trip, but usually this is in my truck as like a, a backup or whatever. But this little saw is actually pretty sweet. It's Agua Canyon. It's a Boreal 21 is what it's called. So this guy just flips open and converts into a bow saw. So really compact, really light, super sharp. The blades are replaceable. Uh, really like this guy actually. But, um, you know, depending on the trip, if I'm a lot of times I'll bring wood with me. It also depends on the area because some places you're, you're not technically supposed to bring outside wood, but this guy's, uh, really enjoy it. If I don't bring, or if I go somewhere where you can cut down wood or cut wood up, I'll bring this little mini DeWalt chainsaw. This thing's pretty sweet too. It makes you know, if you're not trying to do some crazy workout and processing wood can be a chore for sure. If I'm not up for that on the specific trip, I'll bring this little mini chainsaw, which is awesome. Um, this is all kind of related to wood processing. So again, depending on what I'm doing, I got this little Husqvarna axe that I've, that's a really awesome axe that I've enjoyed. It's a, I think it's a, a carpenter's axe maybe if they think that's what it's called, but Super cool axe. I treated the handle, kind of sanded it out, made it unique, um, but awesome little axe. And then depending as well, I got another Husqvarna. Did the same thing to the handle, but it's just a more of a hatchet style. Um, pretty cool little, little guy, super sharp. Um, and then the last axe, this is always in my truck, is this little Fiskers 
you know, just plastic, whatever. You can beat the crap out of this thing and, and not worry about it. Those I'm a little more, you know, precious with because they're, they're nicer. But this guy just stays in the back of the truck. That's pretty much it for the wood processing. I also usually bring a shovel because, you know, when you got to do your business, you nice to have a shovel to figure that out. Over here, it's my, usually my water storage. So this is what I normally bring. This is plenty for, for what I usually do. But I also will bring, depending on the length of the trip, this guy, which is pretty similar in, in nature. It's just a little more slim. Same brand, though. I almost am considering switching just to these because they're I like the profile a little bit better. But I do like how this one sets on, on the tailgate too. So I don't know. We'll see. But this is one that I bring sometimes. And then last couple things here. I'll get this out of the way. Is And I'm just going to link it. I'm not going to take it out of here. But these are the tables that I bring. So just a little collapsible uh, square table. It's like a little card table essentially. Um, that's usually what we will eat on and prepare food on. And then I also have this other King Camp, which this table is awesome. It's just a similar version of that, except it's a little nicer, a little better quality, but it's uh, rectangular instead. Um, the only thing that I don't like about these tables is sometimes I wish there was, sometimes I'll cook up here because this is counter height where those tables are like, you know, seat height. So if you're trying to cook on those or whatever, you're hunched over, but um, I'm working on a mod with that too. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make those adjustable. But but yeah, that's really all the stuff that, that I'll bring with me camping. And forgot to mention two chairs, seating, super crucial, obviously. Uh, these are like my favorite chairs that I bring out with me, but I got a little you know side table that pops up. They're extremely lightweight, really durable. And I like the director style chair instead of those like, I don't know, those tailgate chairs that fold up into a bag or whatever. These are far more comfortable and I have two of them. So that's usually what I bring with me as far as seating is concerned. And last thing, almost forgot, coolers. Obviously, you're going to want to bring a cooler. These are the ones that I went with. I've enjoyed them so far. They're just some igloo coolers that work pretty well. I'd like to upgrade to maybe... A refrigerated cooler would be nice one day, but a little pricey. Um, but yeah, these are, depending on the trip that I'm going on, these are the two that I will bring. Uh, lots of space. I like that they come with these little baskets that keep the you know food that you don't want wet separated. Got a little bottle opener on the fronts here. And just went with the matching... Uh, matching flat desert earth color so pretty sweet somewhat heavy i guess and take up a decent amount of space but i've enjoyed using them and have nice ice retention that pretty much does it for what i bring with me on a typical camping trip it's not everything um, i'm gonna do a, a video later on of like actual my camp setup one of these days on a on a trip that i go on probably next couple weeks i'll be heading out but um, but yeah, I'll do a video of just how I set everything up, like my sleep situation, uh, what it looks like when everything is set up, kind of where I store stuff, how I pack the truck. Um, I'm really meticulous when it comes to, you know, making everything as efficient as possible. So I'm sure you can tell that from, from the video, but, um, but yeah, if there's any, any insight that anybody has as far as some, some cool gadgets that they might use, um, some cool gear that you might use, be happy to hear it in the comments. If there's anything specific that you have questions about or if there's, you know, more detail that you, you want regarding a specific item, be happy to answer it for you. But other than that, stay safe out there and have a good time camping.